Welcome to McGill's Undergraduate Research Conference. Hi, I'm Caroline Aubrey-Wake and I'm with the Earth System Science program. My research was treating about water balance in the Cordial Blanca, so more precisely looking at pro-glacial lakes, water balance, to understand how the glacial melts impact uh, lake and evaporation. For my research, I got to go down to Peru and look at glaciers. It was very exciting. I'm looking forward to, to grad school to do some more of that. My name is Joe Leonard. I am in the Department of Geography, um, and I'm doing some research on the emergence of infectious diseases across the globe uh, amidst environmental and climatic change. There's an epidemiologic paradigm which has been on the books for decades um, that within populations amidst development, amidst changing technologies and better medical services being available to people, we should see a decrease in the infectious diseases that the population experiences. Unfortunately, it's quite different to what we see in real life and across the globe and even in places like Canada, certain infectious diseases are emerging and re-emerging. Um, and so what we want to do here is see what environmental conditions are requisite to the emergence of such diseases and whether things like malaria, which once really struck Canada could come back. Yeah. It's been an amazing experience. Uh, the independence, that the responsibility of being a researcher are very different from those of uh, being a student. Um, and it's very different to encounter and deal with the problems as they come up in a research project that you otherwise would only learn about in an academic you know, classroom environment. Um, it's a whole new world and I'm really glad I did it. My name is Victor Chisholm. I'm the undergraduate research officer in the Faculty of Science, and this is our eighth annual undergraduate research conference. We hold it every fall to give our students a chance to show their exciting research projects. My name is Leia Ravensbergen, and I'm in an honors environmental science. And what I study is environmental determinants of health. Um, in this research project, it all started with this fact on this map that looks at differences in health between neighborhoods in Montreal. And this differences in health is seen in many countries worldwide. For example, if we're to look at St. Henry, the life expectancy for men is 69.6 .6 years, about seven, eight years less than people that live in Metro, which is right beside it. So what I specifically looked at was for a change in material quality um, between bicycle paths, which are health promoting infrastructure between these, between in contrasting neighborhoods. I chose six neighborhoods, two high health, high wealth, two average, and two low, and I contrasted the bicycle paths in all of the neighborhoods. I found out you could do an undergraduate research project if you find a prof that will supervise you. So I came up with this idea and I just kind of went for it and I was lucky enough to get a prof to supervise me. Um, what was surprising about it was that it's a lot more tedious than I thought it would be. I had hundreds of pages of data that I had to analyze and it took a lot of time, but it was really, really nice to put all this effort into something you actually care about that nobody has ever done before. Hi, I'm Pericles Philippopoulos. I'm in the physics department at McGill University. I did research on uh, pulsars in Vicky Caspi's group. Um, I looked at a specific pulsar. It's the second fastest known pulsar and the first one, dis millisecond pulsar discovered. I found the spectrum for this pulsar. I determined different parameters from what was previously determined. And I also timed it and found that it's extremely stable over the past uh, 17 years. Uh, I really enjoyed working in uh, Professor Caspi's group. Uh, re I was not expecting to do research. Uh, when I coming into McGill at this stage of my academic career, but it was a really great experience and I enjoyed uh, all, everything about it.